So hey guys, today I am going to be talking to you a bit of an update about the skincare haul I did back at the end of February on the La Roche-Posay Efficlar range. I have now been using these for four months, I've used pretty much all of them, well I've used all of them at least once or twice and um, I'm just going to go through individually and tell you kind of what I think of them, whether I would repurchase them, if I think they're worth the money, that kind of thing and how I found it's best for me to use them with my skin and I'll also give you a quick skin update now. My skin at the moment is pretty bad across my forehead, I've got quite a few spots and things, but that's my fault, I forgot to get re repeat, do my repeat prescriptions, so I've gone a week and a half with absolutely no acne medication <laughs> or anything, so yes, I am on acne medication, I'm actually on the pill um, because of it, I'm on Dianet, which has got a lot of, la which has had a lot of bad press at the moment because it is quite a dangerous pill to be on, but then they're all quite dangerous anyway, so yeah, I'm on Dianet. If you want another video on me talking through the acne medication I've been on, I can do that for you as well. My skin is still very oily, although that medication has helped decrease the amount of oil that I have. Um, I started that, I think, halfway through. No, I must have been on it. I think I started that medication about the same time as I started this skincare, so um, yeah. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Okay, so um, I'm really sorry about the background noise. My family are on... Uh, incapable of being quiet. So I'm going to start off with the Efficlar, um, I don't really know what this is called, oh it's the pre and Foaming Gel for Oily Sensitive Skin. I'm just going to do the cutaway now to show you how I use this on my face. So yeah, this product ret retails for £11. I had in my head it was £9 and I just looked it up and it's 11 And it's basically just a face wash. It's actually 200ml, which is bigger than a normal kind of standard sized face, wa face wash. Which I guess is my why it's a little bit more expensive. And um, yeah, this is probably my favourite product from the range. It's just a really nice, non-offensive, it's not like scented massively or anything. I don't even think it's scented for us. I think it's perfume free, is it? soap free, paraben free, it's a really really nice um, face wash, if you've got oily and sensitive skin I would thoroughly recommend this, really really nice, it, you wash your face it feels clean, it just, it doesn't feel tight or anything, it just feels clean and um, yeah, I've never had any issues with this, I think this is probably the one product I've used the most and four months of using this pretty much solidly every day and there's still some left, like I am running out now but there is still some left, so really really liked this one. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a very, it feels like a very standard face wash, like it doesn't hurt, it, not that it doesn't hurt, it, does, it doesn't do anything drastic, but it cleans your face. I still feel like sometimes if I want a super clean feel, I will use my Sony Clear um, Michael Todd face brush with this, which is quite good. I also use this in the shower sometimes, once I'm like waiting for my conditioner, I'll just quickly wash my face in the shower. Very easy to use, you don't need a lot, that's why I went wrong at the start, I used a lot and then realised that I was going through it quite quickly and I was like what and then I started using less and less and I was getting the exact same results so I think you need quite a small amount of this and it's um it's a clear foamy gel as well so really really like this and yeah it's great for oily sensitive skin. Okay so the next product is the Efficar Efficlar Lotion Astringent Micro Exfoliant. I've been used oh did I just read I read the French. <laughs> it's the astringent lotion micro exfoliant. It, it says it tightens and helps unblock pores. I use this as kind of like a toner after I wash my face. I dry my face, face off, put some on a bit of cotton wool and do it over as you'll see now. Yeah, so I think this is a really nice product. Again, you don't go through much of it. I've used this pretty much solidly for four months. Um, this is probably my next most used product I would say and um, yeah it's really nice it just kind of again it doesn't I don't feel like my face feels super tight after I use it but there is definitely a little bit of tightening you can feel it just closing up your pores a little bit and um, another thing that helps me really feel like my face is clean um, I can't remember if I said but it retails for £11 and 200 mil as well so I think that you know I think these prices are a little bit higher than your, like, your standard kind of boots super drug like whatever but I think that they're worth it in a way because you get more product and because I think that it's it's made with much better you know ingredients it's paraben free and things like that so I feel like I'm using it on my face but I don't feel like I'm putting loads and loads of chemicals and stuff on it my face still feels very fresh and um, yeah my face hasn't reacted badly to any of these products so yeah like that.
like I keep sinking like down, I'm like starting to slouch. I'm trying to sit up for you. Next product is the Cero Zinc. Um, this is like a facial spray thing. It's a zinc sulfate solution for oily blemish prone skin. Um, it's also suitable for acne prone skin. I thought we saw an assessment blemish prone skin that is kind of acne. But yeah, again, this is probably like my third. I'm kind of using it in my like most used product down to my least used product. That's kind of how I'm doing it. Um, yeah, this one, 150ml, retails for £8.50. Yeah, so I just spray this on like a kind of toner. I tend to use one or the other of these. I don't tend to use them both at once because they both require having like a dry face and using them and then waiting for it to dry. And I just don't have enough time in the morning to use that, wait for that to dry, and then use this and wait for that to dry. That is the only thing. I tend to use this one in the morning so I'm a bit lazy. I can just spray it on my face and it's nice and refreshing. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it gives me a matte finish or anything, but... Um, it's an easy way to apply a toner, so if you're not one to like faffing around I have sprayed it onto cotton wool before and used it like that But I found I had to use a lot more product to really saturate the cotton wool to be able to apply it to the face I don't know, but yeah, I do like this um, I just ha it says that it mattifies and I don't think it does Also, if you apply too much it takes ages to soak in, although it does say to kind of pat off any excess like I don't really want to waste it. I want my face to like get as much as it can because you know It's supposed to be good for it. So yes another Good product, but um, I don't know whether I would buy both again. I know they do different things, but I found myself not using them together, only one or the other. So I'd probably just like wait and see which one runs out. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure out of those two which one I prefer. Okay, so, hey, um, sudden change of scenery. I basically didn't press record to talk about this product, which is the um, Effaclar Matte. This is their kind of moisturiser. It's supposed to be really um, a SIBO regulating moisturiser with anti-shine, anti-enlarged pores. Paraben free as well. This retails for £14.50. This was one of the products that I've actually pretty much used up. Um, and when I filmed earlier I had a little bit left and I swatched it and I rubbed it in and I showed you the texture. But um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get any out now. Oh, I got a tiny bit out. So it's like a white formula and you rub it in and it's a very strange texture. It's almost like... I want to say it's almost silicone-y, but it's not silicone-y. It's just... It's got a very fresh smell to it. It's quite nice, but I just don't think for £14.50 it's worth it. I have much been preferring this moisturiser from Nivea. Any of their Daily Essentials range for the kind of oily skin suited ones. Really prefer those. These are £4 and they're often on half price as well. I think this is nice, but I don't think, I think it kind of mattifies. I don't think it works that well under makeup. My makeup sometimes didn't quite sit right with it. It does say it's suitable for under makeup. Yeah, it says excellent makeup base. I don't actually agree with that. I don't think it sat very well under my makeup. Um, I just, it didn't necessarily anti-enlarge my pores. I think, feel like there's far more primers and things that do a better job than this does. So overall, I'm not that impressed with this and um, I definitely wouldn't repurchase it. But if you find you still have really sensitive skin and you're looking for a moisturiser, and you maybe you don't wear makeup over your moisturiser, maybe you just moisturise, this is probably a good product for you. But for me, I like to wear a little bit of makeup over the top and I didn't find that they worked that well together. So if then if I wanted to wear makeup, I didn't end up using this. So I don't know. Not a massive fan of this product. Um, it's okay, but not worth fourteen fifty by any means. So next up is the Effaclar Duo Plus. This was not the one, I did not purchase this in the video. Oh, my brightness is really up. I probably should turn that down, I've just realized. I've got my camera plugged into the TV rather than the viewfinder, so it's like, but yeah, anyway. Effaclar Duo Plus, this retails for 15 pounds 50. I've actually used this for quite a while, but I found myself not reaching for it recently. So um, I don't really know, I never noticed any massive difference from using it in my skin. So I think that's why I didn't go for it as much. Um, also, it's quite old now, I probably should buy a new one. So, I don't know, I don't really get the hype anymore. I think when I first started using it, I really liked it, but I think I really liked how my skin felt from using it, but I don't think it necessarily cleared up my skin. I don't know, I think I need to get a new one and persist with it a little bit more to really have a proper judgement on it. Um, a lot of people rave about this though, so I think it's one of those things you've kind of got to try, because it works for a lot of people, and so I think chances are it might work for you so I'm not really sure about this I'll probably end up buying another one when I go over to Spain in the summer because I think it's a little bit cheaper there because it's kind of like the euro rate you know well actually the euro rate isn't that great at the moment but it'll probably be a little bit cheaper there so I'm probably going to repurchase it then so next up is the Effaclar K Plus which I just looked up on the Boots website to see 
what the price was and it turns out I think I've been using this wrong the entire time. I thought this was just like kind of this sort of, I was using it the same as the kind of Epiclar Duo. It turns out this is a moisturiser. I had been using it like un with moisturisers and things and not really liking it that much but now I've just found out it's an actual moisturiser. I'm going to use it a lot more. Retails for 14, is that 14, £14.90 bit of a random price considering they're normally about 50s and stuff um so yeah I feel like I can't really comment on this because I thought at first it was a bit nothing but I need to now try it properly you get 30 mil um it's one of those um like metally tubes as well so you can really get the last of it out which is quite good and um yeah so I feel really annoyed now that I haven't been using it right for the past four months okay so I think I finished talking about that. Matt started to call me, so I can't really remember. We've been on the phone for a while. Um, last product. I actually lied. This is probably one of my most used products as well. Epiclar AI. This is a kind of spot treatment sort of thing. It says targeted breakout corrector. As you can see, I really did get like almost all of this out. There's a little bit left that I was kind of saving. Um, I really liked this. I thought this was a really nice spot treatment. It was more of a like cream whereas the rest of the ones I've got are kind of gels so it was something a bit different. I could wear this quite easily under makeup although if you kind of rubbed at it it would come like come up as white and like kind of bead off but if you didn't touch it and you just kind of stippled a bit of foundation on top it sat really nicely. Um, I really really like this for getting rid of the breakouts. You put it on and it really speeds up the rec recovery process if you like. Um, it's still not my favourite spot corrector but you guys should know by now my clean and clear rapid action is it rapid action gel that's my absolute favorite i love that i buy that whenever i see it on offer um but this is a pretty good one as well um 15 ml of product and it retails for nine pounds 50 so it's quite expensive but if you find that maybe your you know your skin's especially sensitive this is paraben free so this is probably something to look at if you get really really sensitive skin and you still have spots i mean i like this but i have other ones that i prefer but this this is a nice product i would say if you're looking to do something on maybe three for two and they often do three for twos on there i think i bought stuff on three for two the first time i'd get this probably get this this and one of the two toners one of those two. Um, I don't really rate the rest of it. Um, however, I can't really talk about the Epicard K+, Plus, like I just said, because I've obviously been using that wrong. So yeah, that is everything. That's kind of my view on everything of this range. I am looking to try some more of their products because I do like them. I just feel like they're a little bit, like some of them are really worth the money and some of them aren't. So I think it's a little bit hit and miss. Um, yeah, so I would like to see what you guys think. If you know any skincare things or if you know any dupes that are much cheaper, I'd be interested in that as well. I am going to be doing my skincare routine, which includes some of these products and some of it doesn't. Some of them it's got other things very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel. It's the first link below. I'm vlogging weekly. And subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.